Okay, Rosalinda's eyes. Uh, I'm going to deconstruct this a little bit and break it down. Um, it sounds like he's playing a whole bunch of notes when he does this uh, intro, but it's really just five chords once you break it down and see how he composed it. So uh, the first chord, and they, they all kind of follow the same pattern uh, of this chord that has kind of a root note bass, like in this case it starts on an A, and then has a major chord a whole step below that. So here's an A, and then I have a G chord played up here. So there's G. You can invert it down here. So it makes this sounding chord. I like to call it an 11 chord, or you could write it as uh, G over A. It's a slash chord. Um, and uh, so what he does is he moves those around a lot, which gives it that cool kind of uh, Chick Corea sound when you move these around. That's kind of what makes it sound so fusion-y. So uh, I'll start with the left hand. And he plays uh, A to B, E to F sharp, and then F. So it's really five chords there. A, B, E, F sharp, F. And it's just arpeggiating one fives and ones in the left hand. So the first line goes one five one in A, A, E, A, B, and then the octave of B. So that's the first part. The second part is the same thing, but it starts on E. One five one E B E F sharp F sharp, and then F. And this part's a little trickier, but it's all just one five one on F. And that part's a little tricky because it moves contrary to what the right hand's doing. But just learn the the hands separately first. So. Again, slower. F. So, in the right hand, the boy sings. Again, it's A in the bass, but it's a G chord up here. And it's about that. That's the uh, voicing that he arpeggiates. So, it's an inverted G chord. And then that's the A chord up here with the B in the bass. And then these two is a D chord over the E bass, and then E chord over the F sharp bass, and then kind of the opposite of those chords is a, a major chord with a root a whole step below it. So this is the G chord with the F in the bass. So G over A, A over the B, D over the E, E over the F sharp. G over F. And the way he arpeggiates those is uh, again G. So that's D, G, B. And then with these I just do A in the C sharp and then play the high E on the last last note. So something like that. And then the over the E it has a D chord. This one you have to jump up there, so it's D. So I just play the E chord and then these two notes, the G sharp and the E. So first one, G to A, D to E. And the last part is the G over the F chord, so it goes. So this is all parallel thirds after the first arpeggio. It's the G. That's the top, and then just thirds below it. So when you put them together, and again, learn them separately, and then slowly put them together. The first parts are easy because they move in the same direction, but this last chord, they have to move against each other a bit. So. slowly. And a tempo. And 
That's it. Five chords. <laughs>